This was called as an overvote. All of the vote targets appear to be marked, and Trung Nguyen's name is written to the right-hand side. Can I be heard on that? Sure. Uh, in looking at the Secretary of State's uh, guidelines as well, is that it says in Section 4, uh, subsection A, number 6, a, a valid vote, uh, they talk about what types of votes are valid. If the voter indicates a voting error uh, with a strikeout or a strikeover, which is what we have here, if you look at this, that is black marker. All Clearly what the, the voter is showing here is that they made some sort of a mistake, and though it may be an artful, they've taken a black marker, struck over all, every single last box, and then in a different pen wrote Trung to win. I think clearly if you look at the voter's intent and the Secretary of State uh, guidelines, that this is a vote for Trung to win. You know, there's, there's, uh, if I can be heard, there's absolutely no mark for Trung to win on that. Um, I, you know, I went through an entire election where there were 5,300 votes where writing candidate's name was written on a line, but there was no mark next to it. And the absolute rule that, you know, that, that, that determined that case was that if there's no marking in the write-in square, you can't count that as a vote, no matter what. Isn't that when it's a qualified writer as opposed to a list of candidates? Right. And that's no, what they made I, absolutely no distinction. They said it was not. You, you, you mark a ballot by filling in the voting square. If you don't fill in the voting square, you haven't marked the ballot. I, if I can be just heard briefly in response to Mr. Wutra, I don't know what state or what jurisdiction he's talking about, but applying the Secretary of State's guidelines, clearly that marking is fine. You're allowed to write in, and that complies with the guidelines, and you're also able to show with the strike over your mistakes, and that's what we have here. But, but no I vote. think the dispositive point is the fact that the voter went to the point of using a black marker and a different pen to write in. I think that's the important Mr. part. There's no strike overs. He filled in the blanks, and then the blank that allegedly has the name is not marked in. The, bar, the mark has to be where he intends to vote. Now, if it was marked in and the name was there, then you could argue that maybe that was his intent. However, there are no strike marks on any of these things. It's clearly an overvote. I'm going to leave this as an overvote. There won't be a change on it. 